Yo, what's up guys? James here. I hope you're having a great day. Now, yesterday I uploaded my video on my reaction to the Escape from Scorpion Island Season 1, Episode 1 video. I wasn't in it much, um, but it was a, it was interesting to watch it back again and uh, and see everything that happened. Obviously, it happened in 2007, so it was, it was quite a while ago. Go, Be sure to go and check that video out. The link is in the description. Um, any, any likes and any comments would be much appreciated. There's Jake Humphrey, now known as a well-known BT sport presenter, um, Angelica Bell. Um, so this is this is like the end of the show where they did their um, their Gunge thing. Um, it's called Gunge GBH. There I am. Look at me in my my dressed all in blue. So the aim of the game here was just to answer a load of questions. So there I am. Look at me. There we go. A lot of questions, I think I answered number two. The mini gods of guns are all holding the scroll, okay? Begins. What you've got to do is pick number one, number two, number three, fill and unravel the scroll, whoever's name number is in two. that scroll will be playing against you in the gunge tank. So James, make a decision, one, two, or maybe three. Number two. It's going for number two, Simon. Unravel. You have to excuse my voice. Um, I think I was about 10 at this point. Still fairly young. Um, so, so here we go. So this is both of us in the tank. It's me versus him. Let's see who it is. You've got the three lives there as well. Here we go. This is it. Okay, hello James. Hello. Uh, hopefully your mic's hmm. working. <laughs> okay, would you like to play or pass? Hello? Would you like to play or pass? Play. You'd like to play, okay. In Harry Potter's fourth year at Hogwarts, who did Hermione go to the Yule Ball with? Victor Crumb. Do you, are you a big fan of Harry Potter? I'm safe from the gun yeah. so far. I can tell you that you are It great. gets a lot worse. Well uh, done. Well done. <laughs> God of God. So they're just, um, so it's him answering now. His questions were a lot harder, I feel. Um, I didn't have a clue at this. Here we go, question number two. Okay, Marcus from Suffolk has dropped Is this the question that I'm thinking will embarrass me for my entire life? It is. Oh, bless him, he's cute. You're right there, you lot. Right, watch this. Okay, would you like to play or pass, James? Play. You like to play? What is the fastest cat in the world? Now, James, if you get this right, you'll, all three lives will be intact and Simon will lose his life and will yeah. get lunch, okay? So this Look is Look at my important. face, man. What is the fastest cat in the world? Um, the tabby. What? Um, the tabby. What? Um, the tabby. <laughs> can I just say, can I just say, that is my favourite ever answer. On the side. It's on like family <laughs> fortune. Exactly, exactly. The tabby. Give him that. I, no. I'm quite happy to lose Did you life, just hear that? A tabby on cat. national television. That is not the right answer. <laughs> Let, I'm looking gutted as well. I'm looking genuinely devastated. Jesus. And now I'm thinking the gun is going to come on me, but thankfully it doesn't. But a tabby cat. A tabby cat? That's ridiculous. Absolutely absurd. And that, well, I mean, watch the rest, but that was just quite possibly one of the worst moments of my life. My dad was at the back, and I never forget walking in after the show, and he just looked at me and just, just what did you do there, son? What did you do? Uh, and that was probably the, the crux of, of what I was going to go on to in life, because there's been a few things since that I, um, nothing on that scale. Thankfully, Facebook and Twitter went around by that point, because I guarantee you, if they had been, we would have, uh, well, I'm not me, I would have got absolutely torn apart. I'm so happy that, oh no, he's getting guns. Two, one. That's it. <laughs> and there you have it. So there you have it, guys. Uh, a very short but interesting video of how I embarrassed myself on national television. Um, it was an absolute, just a disgrace. Just to give you a bit of context, there is no excuse, but I was sat there there were about 50 cameras behind me you can see if you watch the video back i look at look at them in the face and i have no idea what i'm doing and i have got i actually have a tabby cat i did have a tabby cat at home and that's the first thing that came to my head so i'm sure she was honored i was not honored i literally embarrassed myself on national television so with that thank you so much for watching the video please like this video please subscribe to the video we've got we are so close to 50 subscribers i really appreciate any help and any support you can give me and with that guys i'll see you on the next video goodbye